right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Little bonus fishing footage here. We're at Lake Talquin, and uh, we're down here at the Whippoorwill Lodge. We're about to head out with one of our good buddies, Early Whitaker. He's um, an absolute stick here in North Florida, South Georgia. Lives over on Lake Seminole, spends a lot of time there, spends a lot of time on Lake Eufaula, and a lot of time here on Lake Talquin. Nice, brisk fall day. We're gonna see if we can get on some shadfish and I'll show you what I'm gonna be throwing, and hopefully we'll meet you back with some action. Yeah, there's a big freezer bag, full of four inches. Lots of hand pours there. And, of course, we're gonna be throwing those mainly on the Alabama rig, and uh, hopefully we can get some hand pouring fish catch action for you guys. You know, y'all see me make this kind of stuff a lot of the time, but I don't always get out to fish them when it's right. So hopefully today it's right. Well, when you come fishing with these guys, you get to fish in royalty. What uh, what model Ferrari is this? Uh, yeah, this is this is what I get to play on today. Wave to the camera. Oh, y'all see that bird diving? That means the shad are active. Oh, those dots are fish. Look at those fish. That's what you want to see. Look at that hand pour, got him. Juicy, juicy, two, what, what do you think, he's two and a half? Yeah. Yeah, he got a little shoulder on him. On right him. on. Yeah. See ya, see ya, see ya. There's about 50 with him, are they still on the screen? Yeah. Yeah, y'all, yeah, look, look at what we're on here. Okay. And that's not even the half of it. Yeah, look at all these. All those fish moving around. Never say, yeah, there's some. Right sp right spin it up. Bunch of shad above them. Let's go. Well, one of my rods that I built snapped. Look at that. It's an MHX blank that I broke. I was throwing, uh, throwing a shaky head here with a hand pour uh, shad color, right? Got some foil in the tail. I got absolutely thumped on it. Made another cast and a rod snapped on the cast. How about that? Just means I need to build another one. Yes, yeah, sirree. Look at what we have. Uh huh. Little three pounder. Ugh. Old fatty. Old fatty. He went after the ZTG hyper shift right there. A little shad dot the one earlier came on one of those this is a little bit better fish yeah 20 feet, of water. 20 feet of water that's a shad muncher right there having some good luck in the dead on plastic jersey got another thick wintertime shad eater it's been slow but every time one bites it's a doggone football like this Right on, right on. AI four incher. All right, welcome back to the fish cave. This looks a little more familiar. Hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of fishing footage, some bonus fishing. Anytime one of the twins, uh, Early and his brother Andrew, are like actual twins, born within like 12 seconds. I don't know if it was that, you know, close, but point is they're exact twins, and uh, whenever they call, you go fishing because most of the time they're going to put you on good ones. Uh, so anyway, we have some new molds today, and Josh at Angling AI Molds um, has decided to send me enough stuff to where I can do like a different mold every week for like 10 weeks. So I don't know if this is going to be like a 10-week series, like new mold of the week kind of thing, but we have a lot of new molds to play with. They're not new releases, but they're new molds to me, molds I've never had, never featured on the channel, never seen in person. Um, so what we have is we have four cups of Dead On Plastics Swim Bait Blend, uh, the Black Bucket Swim Bait Blend, which I think is going to work perfect for this bait. Let's go ahead and open up the mold, see what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a lot of them because this is actually a few more baits for the Hendrix um, uh, uh, monthly uh, tackle box subscription. So hopefully these turn out good because they're going out to actual people. Let's take a look. I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail, so you already know. I don't even know why I, I even do this. Because you've already seen the thumbnail. Boom. 
five inch single tail grub and and what i really like is the body it's not just a round ribbed grub there's a little extra thought put into it and one of the molds that he sent me is like a humongous grub so we'll definitely have some fun with that but today we're going to be playing with this one i think it looks beautiful uh as soon as i opened it up i really really liked the body and and just how it wasn't a traditional round grub so i think we can have a lot of fun with this and of course you know you can even inject some of uh josh's soft plastic skirt molds and put a skirt on the front you know there's so many things you can do tail molds you know different colors triple injection um because we're making a little bit of bulk today for a purpose you know we're not going to get too crazy with it but i have a really really cool color in mind a color that i've never made i've never tried it so let's see if it works lots of plastic going in there today that is four cups worth nine minutes in the cooker yeah there she is right there five inch single tail grub mold looking good can't wait to uh run some plastic through it Definitely gonna have to vac this out. See, it's 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 uh not very bubble bubble ridden until you start stirring, and sometimes your pigments even uh, introduce bubbles. That's uh, that's always crazy. So this is just a blue highlight that we're throwing on the bottom side. All right, and we're gonna kind of see where that takes us. Blue highlight powders are amazing. Anytime you're doing anything shad color related, like blue highlight is almost a must. Just powder powders in general are in, in extremely effective. Yeah, that's crazy. Just stirring in that uh, that highlight powder. Now look at all the bubbles. So I don't know if there's like moisture in all my pigments, which sometimes happens, but I don't know. We got to get these bubbles out. All right, that's definitely looking a bit better. All right, so flakes. We're gonna use one that I've never used. This is the Dead on Ice. You know, and, and again, these grubs in a shad color, you know, going into the most shad alicious, wonderful time of the year, you know, a lot of times trolling a grub around or even putting grubs on an Alabama rig is a popular way to capitalize on a good shad bite or, you know, a herring bite, whatever kind of forage you have. I think this will actually do it justice. And I've never used this ice flake, but it looks absolutely beautiful. It's like a nice sky blue. In fact, I'm surprised it's not called sky blue, but ice also works. Yeah, that's pretty. It's very, very, very subtle, but I think it looks very, very, very nice. All right, so yeah, maybe just a little bit more of that hard to say you know I've never shot this grub before and uh, you know I don't know how color blends in it I don't know what looks good in it but that's the exciting part so on the um, blue highlight side we're gonna we're gonna get crazy with it some string cut chartreuse flake in blue highlight because why not we might as well do something drastically different I don't normally this this would not normally be my first choice <laughs> But we're going to get a little crazy with it today, perhaps. Do some different stuff I don't normally... You don't normally see me do. Because when in Rome with new molds. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can really start to see the blue effect. Yeah, that's not half bad. Now we're also going to add a few accent flakes to both sides. So some small gold to the top side. Just to go along with that ice. Yeah, let's get that mixed in. Yeah, just a little bit. Just to kind of pepper it up with some gold. Not a lot. And then the same with the other side. We're going to add some small black to it. Oops. Drop the uh, cap there, and this will kind of serve as as another little peppered accent there, just to give it a little bit of life. I always like to think in terms of of sizes for to build texture with flake. So if I'm going to add two different colors, I usually like it to be two different sizes. 
to me it just gives it a little bit more uh, depth. All right, here we go. Dual injector time. We're gonna get uh, both sides mixed up. And let's do it. Now, it's a little cold out today, even though I'm in Florida. And I know whenever we complain about cold, it's not really all that cold. But these molds are not warm, is the point. And uh, so we're just going to inject real slow and hold some steady pressure. And uh, hopefully everything fills without any dents or anything. Yeah. Okay. Looking good there. This is one of those weird kind of color builds that is either going to be a really cool home run or it's going to look pretty yucky. This is not normally what I would do, but I wanted to do something completely different by my standards. All right, new molds always deserve a drum roll. Here we go. Does this suck? It might. It might. I say that a lot, but this time I really mean it. This could be horrible. Hey, and it's not. I was I was worried about the chartreuse glitter side, right? Because that's just so weird. It's it's very strange. Oh. Okay. What really stands out is how sexy that ice is in a in a in a charcoal black. Look at that. Oh, we got a winner, y'all. We got lucky. We got lucky because this could have very easily been insert bleep sound here. Wow. And I love the mold. Let's let's get a little close up there. Look at that. That in like a, a, a fluke or a swim bait or something would, would also be really, really attractive. Dude! I'm excited. I you never know how this is gonna go when you make something really off the wall like this. I mean, just just color wise, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. But that's why sometimes it pays off to step out of the boundary a little bit. All right, here's the second mold. Definitely gotta pry these open a bit. Oh yeah, that's cool. Let's see if we can get them arranged. Yeah. Oh, super awesome. Ah. Yeah. Definitely not what I would consider a a normal color, but but I'm digging it. I'm really 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 digging it. Let's get them out. Yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome 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 sauce. What do y'all think? There's round two right there. I'll bet these things would be like striped bass killers. Or hybrids too. It's like the perfect size grub uh, to, to kind of like weed out bluegills and crappie, but also catch, you know, smaller fish like, like your hybrids. And then also bigger fish you know, your stripers and, and bigger largemouth. I don't know, I'm really impressed with this thing so far. I'm not a big grub guy, but now that it's kind of Alabama rig season, like you saw at the beginning of this video, this is definitely going to be an option along with the swim baits because sometimes they just want something a little bit different and nobody knows why, but bass are stingy. And I don't know, the more options, the better, but I am digging that thing so far. All right, here's a little up close intimate angle we're going to show you round three and then every round after that we'll probably just show you the results that way the video isn't an hour long but yeah super happy with the way that this mold has injected so far like i said i've been running it cold you know as in not preheated and uh, it laminates very evenly and uh beautiful beautiful detailing in it super happy with it so far and uh, I'll bet it looks even better in the water. That's, that might be what we needed yesterday. You know, 
we uh, we found those massive schools, you know, that you could see on the graph, and we could only get, you know, as soon as we'd pull up, we'd get hammered, and then they would just cut off, and you know, we were bouncing shaky heads on their heads, you know, we were watching them react to the spoon on the uh, on the pan optics, watching them follow the Alabama rig. They just wouldn't commit, but those are very pressured fish. These are very common spots that we were on, but that's where the fish was. So that's where we had to stay. All right, there they are. Looking good, looking good. Lots of grubs. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Always fun when you do something a little different, right? A little different color there. So yeah, that's a shload of them right there. And uh, that will be part of that uh, Hendrix box, like I said. So now I think the rest of this video, uh, since this is sort of a, a blog featuring a new mold, um, I think we're actually going to package up part of that Hendrix stuff. Can't package these yet because I have to uh, lay them out to cure. But uh, we're going to get some more things ready. And uh, then we're going to sign this one off. So we all like making soft baits, right? It's fun. That's why we do it. That's what first piqued our interest. But nobody enjoys this part. The packaging. Oh, oh, it's just, it's just the worst. No matter how many times you do it, you know, and there are little tricks to do it, you know, faster and more efficient than this. Let's see, that's four. We'll do, we'll do six to a bag because these are going out to so many boxes. Now, uh, I get a lot of questions about bags. Where do you get custom printed bags made for baits, right? They have to be the right kind of bag. It has to be a laminated poly bag, similar to a food bag approved by the FDA to keep food fresh. And the reason that you need that is so it can contain the oils. The plasticizer oils in a normal bag will leach through and then corrode the print, corrode the ink, right? That's why we don't put baits in just regular sandwich bags. So to get truly custom printed bags, you have to get them from China. You have to get thousands at minimum. There's plate fees, shipping is expensive. I spent over $2,000 to get custom bags. If you are a small DIY bait maker who does not have real retail presence in stores, don't waste your money. You do not need them. When I run out, I will not buy more. I will go to a generic worm bag with a sticker. But when I started out, I had retail aspirations. So that's why I have retail bags. They're awesome. I love them. They're special. But it's a huge investment for something that I really don't think you need unless you are really running production. And most of us just aren't. Yeah, those hyper shift jerk baits there. How many is that? That's five. Yeah, so we'll we'll do we'll do also six of these. Yeah, so there they are, and it just dawned on me I'm short. Even with the grubs that I made today, I'm short on the amount of baits that he requested. So we're gonna have to make some more stuff off camera over the next couple of days to get him squared away. But yeah, looking cool. I always like to see them as the finished product in a bag. Looking nice and professional. So I'm between boat covers right now. The one that I bought when we bought the boat, finally got a bunch of tears in it at the seam. <clears throat> and this pine tree right above me likes to drop a bunch of crap down here. So it's time to clear the boat of debris. There's nothing worse than a dirty boat, and that's what we got. But we can pressure wash, get her all nice, all nice and clean. All nice and cleaned up for the new cover. Yeah, that's much better. So we have a bunch of tears in the seats. You know, this boat is six years old, and uh, they want $1,700 to replace those three seats. They're, they're two parts. You have the actual cushion, which folds up, 
and then you have the backs which are permanent seventeen hundred dollars no sir i will literally just cover them with a tarp before i pay that kind of money all right we're out of here hope y'all enjoyed the video got to see a little fish catching action got to see some new molds uh you know new colors kind of new different baits hey what mo what more can i do you know that's a good video in my book so hope y'all enjoyed it as much as i did and uh, we will definitely see y'all in the next one lots of new molds coming like i uh, mentioned earlier so uh, we'll be playing around with a lot new shapes and a lot new colors stuff we've never had before so um yeah exciting stuff still to come we'll catch you in the next video like subscribe hit the notification bell we'll see you then